escapism and you just can't help shovel your dog crap ideology into there's a rule there's a new law here in canada misgendering is a human right violation canadian court rules you can get jailed if you misgender somebody what by the looks of it, everybody's getting cancelled. What's up, toxic gamers? How y'all doing? So we got Dr. Disrespect in the news. We also have the Ackman. We have Hasana B. Everybody's going off. It is absolutely mental. We are talking about the Starfield the pronouns stuff, but it's deeper than that. It's not necessarily about the pronouns. It's not about the game being good or the game being bad. There are a lot of you that are loving the game. There are a lot of you that, that don't like the game. Simple as that. We're gonna get into the video. Like this video. Subscribe if you're brand new. Let's go for three likes on the video because today it is uh, i mean damn uh, we got the homie heels versus baby fist getting cancelled we also have dr dis 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 respect 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 is getting cancelled as well guys check this out dr disrespect responded because tina says that dr disrespect was rejected a starfield sponsorship deal due to his recent transphobia and he got triggered on stream because the head of Bethesda Publishing has pronouns in his bio. These guys wouldn't survive Modern Warfare 2 lobbies if the pronouns triggered them. Guys, it is not even about the pronouns, dog. It is deeper than that. But Doc responds by saying, some of these poor young people are just depressed, no life experience, and completely misdirected by the internet. Absolutely. Look at my words being taken out of context here. Their insecurities are obvious. Politics should be out of uh, should stay out of the video game industry entirely along with people like this. Absolutely 110% That's a W response, right? But Doc is getting canceled by the Wokies out there the Eggman I mean, I love the guy. Okay? I love the guy, but I just don't get it. Maybe he got money He got the woke money Maybe that's basically where we at because you know, even he was getting canceled by the Wokies people defended even I defended the guy Everybody was defending the guy because in the in that situation that happened like months ago years ago he was not in the wrong or you know what we were like let's give a brother second chance he was uh, also demonetized uh, and you know we had his back but now he's just going full on nuclear and keep in mind though he a year ago he made that video is the Coda remake ruined in around 12 minutes and 54 seconds this one is for the wokies that are trying to cancel heel versus baby face right now it's not about the pronouns we're, we're gonna get into that video here but the the, the wokies that are trying to cancel heel versus baby face and are on the side of the eggman yeah f yeah bro even the eggman a year ago and i quote i gotta be very careful because there is a rule there's a new law here in canada misgendering is a human right violation canadian court rules you can get jailed if you misgender somebody uh so my pronouns are they them you know what i mean don't misgender me or you will get jailed ladies and gentlemen oh, shit. Oh, shit. yeah yes sir yes sir i'm in canada so you know that's happening and i quote please god don't give raven non-binary pronouns there we go boys that was Ackman a year ago and today my guy is like gorilla shit man of the world of crying because starfield lets you pick pronouns at the start of the game and then it's never brought up again somebody please shoot the guy with a bear tranquilizer he's going to attack someone now yeah i mean it's kind of petty right like being mad over the, the pronouns and it's not about the pronouns it's deeper than that uh some of you probably watched this video as well uh let me actually play this here listen I know I should have been more forthcoming about yeah. who I was earlier. Yes. So, yes. in the interest of full disclosure, there's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. You're a dude. My relationship oh. with the UC. It's yeah, I mean, he called it. He knew it's a dude, but then he's like, okay, maybe it's not a dude. You know, you're double guessing, maybe. Okay, I assumed way too early. But man, bumbleclad moment coming up, boys. More complicated than it might seem at first glance. Uh huh. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. Yeah. I... I? Am a clone. Oh, damn. Of a man named Francois Sanon. There we go. One time three... Bomboka! This is crazy. This is crazy. So everybody's going off right now. We even have Hassan talking about that. So, uh, you said America deserved 9-11. Did oh, you damn. mean that? Yeah. <laughs> Yep, so this is uh, Hassan we're talking about. Bumbaka. Yep, he's trying to cancel the homie heel versus baby face. <laughs> Nick Moritz, Dr. Disrespect as well in the past. And Dr. Disrespect is getting canceled again, though. No escapism! And you just can't help shovel your dog s***!
crap ideology into everything every single solitary f he's way too mad and this is what i disagree though uh right like you could have actually expressed but here, here's the thing though He's natural, he's complete. he's pissed off, and he has the right to be pissed off though. You know what I'm saying? Suckers wanna believe in thousands and thousands of genders, but they cannot believe in two different opinions though. Y you feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you feel what I'm saying, because he has the right, even though I disagree with the being this angry, because I feel like that this is a serious topic, where you, you know, he could have brought like some points, because right now the narrative is that bald man mad over pronouns which is not true he's not mad just over the pronouns it's a accumulation of multiple years seeing most of the franchises uh, whether that's movies vi video games favorite actors favorite comics all of them are getting destroyed because of this e uh, because of the esg scores because of that woke crap that's going around so he's just mad over that and uh, you know he's pissed off and the, the first thing he says is pronouns but then people just forget to hear the other side and forget to see the other side he's not just mad over the pronouns because the pronoun stuff like even i'm not mad like pronoun stuff that's like dog like you know what i'm saying you're gonna see it for five minutes on the screen in the beginning and that's it you know what i mean but it's deeper than that and guys we have this video coming out let's check this out things i take more issue with in games these days is not really pronouns myself but how okay. the genders of characters are treated in modern gaming in yeah. the Horizon series, for example, almost every single person in a position of power is a woman, with men almost exclusively being grunts, bandits, or idiots. And yeah, the, the men are always wrong. wrong, but you are a man, that's why I, I don't take orders, because you're a man. I'm Death Princess, I'm strong, I'm stunning, I'm brave, I'm, I'm fearless. Shepard cannot do anything to me because I am very strong. Shepard can go pound sand, he's a man and he's wrong. wrong. White people are generally relegated to villainous roles within many forms of media these days bruh if you're white bro i feel bad for you though i'm uh, thank god i'm brown you know what i'm saying let me let me know if, i don't want to pull that race card i know it sounds like i'm pulling that race card but guys the fact of the matter it's not even an opinion bro like the, the white people are getting stripped of all their rights right now if you're white uh you you cannot even talk right now bro like you get canceled we're all seeing it whether you agree with the heel versus baby fist that's different right that's different but my guy is getting canceled big time though oh my god you know and female characters can only be strong within the eyes of modern writers if they strip them of all emotion and just turn them into emotionless robots. These are things I find more offensive and far more annoying than the pronouns of my character personally. The pronoun concept would be very annoying if, for example, Starfield or any other game really decided to add like 20 or 50 different pronouns. Mm -hmm. You know the ones yeah, I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. All the nonsense people come up with. And listen, guys, like, I, I know I, I know some of you guys are loving Starfield. Some of you guys are not. Like, and it's not about the game being good or bad. It's not about that. And life is way too short, right? If you're liking the game, play it. I mean, simple as that who am i to cancel a game uh or who am i to tell you to boycott if you feel like you need to boycott then, then do it right if you feel like you want a refund do it if you feel like playing the game play it simple as that life is way too short if you enjoy for example call of duty we have that shiza that happened with call of duty that, that was bigger than this in my honest opinion but if you feel like i, I have not played call of duty in months uh, i'm waiting for microsoft to take over clean house and if they're able to and if the games are objectively good because you know nick Merck's situation aside call of duty is chalk right now dog like they're pushing bundles left and right there's zero content you know, we talked about it a million times. If you're a Call of Duty fan, I don't even have to talk about it. You already know. It's bigger than that Nick Merck situation. But anyways, right? My point here is that life is way too short. I'm not even the one that's going to tell you to boycott. Un unlike these Wokies that, that try to boycott Hogwarts Legacy simply because they don't agree with J.K. Rowling. I and we all know what happened. It, it sold even more, right? You know what I'm saying? So boycotts in video games don't work. Simple as that up with online to make themselves seem like they're so cool and different. Pronouns like Zyre, Zizai, Verzem, Vis, Zers, I'm probably not even saying any of these right. Bruh. I could go on, but you get- Yo, this is my first time coming across. Holy F though. Faye, fair, what the flip is that? These are new pronouns? Are, are they in the English language or? The idea, like what the hell is airs or fay fairs? Hold up, I'm gonna look this up. What is a fay? Okay, here's the explanation. Bro, before you look up, before you look up, I also gotta tell you. Oh shit! Oh, shit. I know Endymion, you are in Canada. So wait, why, uh, be careful. Misgendering is a human right violation. You might be fined or you might be sent to prison. Like dead ass, dead ass. That's no memes, guys, no memes no cap this is like dead ass though 
Fey or fair self is a set of gender-neutral neo-pronouns. It can be a non-themed pronoun set or it may have connotations to fairies for a given individual. The set can also be used as a reclamation of the word fairy which has a history of being used in a derogatory manner towards queer folk or by autistic folk in relation to changelings, a type of fey. Okay, yeah, so, so okay, this is- I, I got none of that, but okay. what I'm talking about. Thankfully, Starfield cuts it off at the logical point and just goes with him, her, and they. I oh, feel as yeah. if that's good enough and can properly cover the entirety of anybody that plays- Okay, from what I'm seeing across, Starfield is woke, but it's not like crazy woke out there. And let's be real, guys. You're excited for GTA 6, and maybe not you, but the guy behind you, he is definitely excited. I know you want to say wrong, because all wrong, I'm not excited for GTA 6. I'm personally really looking, deadass looking forward to GTA 6. I'm excited for GTA 6. I hope that game bangs. I hope that game saves the gaming community, but we talked about it in the past. I'm going to still say it. GTA 6 is also going to be woke. Guys, le let's be real. Let's be real. If you're mad over the pronouns, that stuff is... It's a given. It's gonna happen in in GTA 6. To a certain degree, it's gonna be woke. And yeah, I mean, what, what you're gonna do with it, right? Like, what you're gonna do with it? It's one of those things. But we need to voice our opinions, absolutely. But we gotta do it in civil, civilly. Uh, I know the homie heel versus babyface. His intentions, I by the looks of it, were good. I mean, I don't sleep with the guy. I don't know, but you know what I mean. Uh, he's very passionate, and brother deserved to, you know, let his opinions out, whether you agree or disagree. That's for another. Uh, that's a different conversation altogether. You can disagree though. Let's actually bring that conversation here. Bruh. You you can disagree. It's completely fine for you to disagree with me, for me to disagree with you, uh, for 100 people to disagree with you. Uh, if you're not hurting anybody and you're just talking about like your opinion, hey, that's perfectly fine. Simple as that. But we're all seeing what's happening to Heal vs. Babyface just because of his opinions, though. You know what I mean? But make no mistake, though, GTA 6 is going to be a little bit woke. And it, simple as that. I mean, I, I don't make the rules. That's how it is. Is the game. Because let's be real, we can't expect game devs to add literal hundreds of pronoun variations going forward. But if I met a character in a game and they told me their pronouns were Faye or Zim, I would just roll my eyes and walk away. Like the Z Zim Neo pronouns are apparently gender neutral and just remove the H and him with an X. So isn't that the same as they them? I don't know, man. I feel like a Yo, dog. Like okay, this is my first. Okay, now I heard about the A X C I M or some bruh. bruh like that on Twitter. I remember that, but the Faye one is like something for the first time. I still don't understand the X C M or some like that. Your Crazy, grandpa bro. trying to understand young people these days when i go down these rabbit holes yeah the point is that i think this dog i'm 27 i feel like a boomer right now god damn what is happening right now bro what is happening pronoun debate is getting wildly blown out of proportion but heels has a right as a customer to be mad if a product yeah. talks down to him while i don't necessarily agree 100 with his take i understand the generalization of his complaints but I don't generally believe that if a game makes you choose your pronouns, that it is now garbage. Yes. There's far yep. more concerning yep. things with modern gaming that annoy me far more. Like yeah. over monetization, the unoptimization of games at release, and pushing false promises in order to build hype. 100%, 100%. And, and yeah, like you said, though, he's a customer, he's a paying customer. This is something that I was talking about, but he said it way better than I ever could. He has the right to uh say and i have the right to uh, agree with him or disagree with him and it's perfectly fine though but suckers are canceling him over that which is absolutely wild though yeah you, you know what i mean that's where we at and his general principle and the general points that he's trying to make are not wrong though but being just mad over the pronouns that's also like bruh like you, you know what i mean right but i see i see that he's not just mad about the pronouns it's uh, it's deeper than that and speaking of bugs in games and false promises, that brings us to this next story, which is that Starfield refunds are coming fast during early access. <laughs> refunds of any oh game at release God. is of course nothing new. Damn. Just look at the recently released Armored Core 6 and how players were refunding it because they couldn't kill the opening level boss. Yeah, it's one of those things, right? Like, you like one thing, you give the game 10 out of 10. If you hit one thing, you give it 0 out of 10. Like, dog. And, and Suggers, obviously, it's the, the most hyped game, so it's gonna sell very well, and it's also gonna get the most amount of refunds as well. It's like the equibl uh, equilibrium, or uh, however, the, however you say that. You, you get what I'm saying, right? It's uh, surely gonna get a lot of refunds, but in the end, we're definitely gonna find out about the sales, and we're gonna see if the ratio is higher than normal, or... Uh, 
average or lower we're, we're definitely gonna find out like what's the ratio of the the sales and the the, the refunds that's what i'm which in case you know. do get stuck there just fly into the ship and use your sword you're welcome you'll be fine but this is nothing new but what's surprising to me anyway is how quickly people are turning their opinions mere days into early access it has yeah. been universally said pretty much that starfield features one of the worst openings in bethesda game history and there's Damn. also plenty of players who say the game gets better the more you play it. However, you know, what are your honest thoughts though? Like, I, I was really, really interested in Starfield before, but I was like, I'm gonna wait it. And I, so far, I have not bought it. I'm still waiting, still waiting. There are some things that I like about the game, right? Personally, but there are some things that I'm like, yeah, I, I rather just, I'm gonna sleep on it and I'm gonna decide whether I'm gonna buy it or not. And I do agree though, you know, playing the game is different, watching the game is different. That I do agree with. But right now, it, I'm not sure though. I also don't, I, I, I was gonna say I'm gonna wait for the reviews, but here's the thing though, right? Like, Suckers, I love it. Suckers are gonna like one thing gonna give it 10 out of 10 uh, especially the sony pony is gonna give it zero the xbox gonna give it 10 out of 10 so we, we got the fanboy situation then we got this pronoun situation then we got games uh, the npcs i would say like the 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 genuine criticism that's going around is people either people are making fun of it or being genuine with it or it's the fanboys the toxic gamer thing but i, I in my honest opinion though the, the genuine criticism that i'm seeing right now about starfield is the npcs the npcs faces looking off i mean this is one of those uh br bruh. i mean this npc is not that bad i mean on a second look I i've seen worse npcs <laughs> worse looking npcs in the game with zombie eyes or zombie faces uh, if you've seen you know what i'm talking about right on reddit there's shows. a growing concern of people just being flat out disappointed by bethesda's latest adventure which brings me to this really popular reddit thread explaining this and the user who started this thread voiced their concerns after playing Starfield in early access, user NoDust2105 said, and I quote, Starfield feels like it's regressed from other Bethesda games. Damn. I tried liking it, but the constant loading in a space environment translates poorly compared to games like Skyrim and Fallout. With Skyrim and Fallout, you feel like you're in this world and can walk anywhere you want. With Starfield, I feel like I'm contained in a new box every five minutes. This game is an open world. It handles the yeah. map worse than Skyrim or Fallout 4 with those games you can walk Yeah, out. this is why I say, bro, like... If you're unsure, if you're not making money from the game though, if you have nothing to gain, now I get it, like some of you folks are very passionate about the game and I get it, like we're talking about video games, right? Like we only live once, you are, you are hype about the game and it's okay to be hype about it, it's okay to buy the game day one as well. But if you're like uncertain, this is for the folks that are uncertain, that do not know whether they're gonna 100% like or not. If you're somebody that's way too hype and you're, you're like, hey, I don't wanna be disappointed, then do not buy the game day one, just wait a month. Just wait or not even okay months might be too too long for a gamer let's be real just wait two days two days you cannot wait two days just wait two uh one day just like let's, let's just make it one day watch the gameplay extensively goggles on watch the gameplay on youtube watch every single thing for hours hours and if you're convinced then buy it you know what i mean everywhere Starfield is just a constant stream of teleporting where you have to be and cranking out missions. It's like trying to exit Whiterun in Skyrim, then fast traveling to the open world, then in the open world you walk to your horse, go through a menu, and now you fast travel on your horse in a cutscene to Solitude. The feeling of constantly being contained and limited, almost as if I'm playing a linear single player game, is just not pleasant at all. We mm. went from open world RPGs to fast travel simulators. I'm not asking for a space sim, I'm asking for a game as big as this to not feel one mile long and an inch deep when it comes to exploration, and quote. Yeah, I, I feel like 1000 planets was a mistake, they should have just kept it like 100 planets and made sure that they were bigger, or it felt like open world and bigger, because some suckers definitely wanted this game to be open world, and but it feels like 1000 maps, and the game is still massive though. So we're not talking about the game is uh, small or anything. The game is massive, but you gotta understand this. Like, a th if they add a thousand planets in the game, they're not gonna be like real life size planets. Obviously, there's gonna be restrictions. We're not living in 2077, okay? There's gonna be restrictions. So let me know your thoughts. We had this drama that just went down recently. It is absolutely insane. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there. If you leave the video right now, you're going to be thinking about what happened. You don't want to do that, right? So check this video out. It is absolutely crazy.